What's up everybody? So today I'm over here on our Sodic AL600P. Now recently we did a video where we compared the speed of brass wire and Sodic Z Plus wire. And the Z Plus wire came out on top. But some of you guys in the comments brought up a very valid point that on the zinc wire we used iGroove technology and on the brass we didn't. So today we're going to rerun this test and we're going to use both wires, both using the iGroove technology, and we're going to see what kind of results we get. So let's get started. Round two. Now I know you guys are used to seeing me do things like run 2300 inches a minute in steel or you know make a cool grill for Gas Monkey Garage or a bus for the President of the United States of America, but what you guys may not know is that I actually got started programming on a wire EDM at my dad's shop back in the 90s. You know, modern machinists really have it pretty easy because back in the 90s, things like threading the wire or this auto threading stuff where it does it for you, we didn't have that. So we constantly had wires breaking. It was a major pain trying to get the wire threaded all the way through to the nozzle. But now the machine does everything for you. I don't even know what they need me here for. Now the material we're cutting today is one inch thick titanium, the cut's about two inches long, and we're just starting with the brass wire with the iGroove technology turned on. Now in the previous video, Trevor talked about the iGroove technology, and what this is is there's a pulley that moves from one end of the wire back to the other side, and that causes the wire to spin the entire time it's in cut. And what that allows is for you to slow down the speed of your wire, that way you use less wire for every cut you make. Yes, we're full slotting titanium one inch deep with a 10 thou diameter tool at a whopping 0.13 inches per minute. Titan got tired of me breaking tools at a thousand inches a minute and breaking the glass on the front of mills. So he put me over here where my top speed is like a quarter inch a minute and where if I break my tool, it costs like three cents. Be better, Barry. I feel like Jeff Goldblum in the back of the Jeep of Jurassic Park. Must go faster, must go faster. Now you guys may think this is pretty slow, but EDM technology is critical to modern machining because there's a lot of features that just can't be machined any other way. And if you've ever seen any of Jesse's programs run, you know that this isn't that slow at all. All right, so we just finished our first cut with the brass wire. Let's take a look at what our cycle time was and our wire usage. Right, so our wire usage was 433 meters and our cut time was 45 minutes and 47 seconds. Right, now let's see how much time and wire we saved by switching to the Z Plus wire. We're gonna run the same exact program, nothing different other than the wire. All right, so we got our Z Plus wire loaded now. Again, not changing nothing, just gonna rerun the same program again and see what we get. Let it rip, tater chip. Now, if you guys want to come see this machine and 49 others run in person here at our Flower Mound facility, don't forget to go online and register for our Boombastic show that's taking place November 12th through 14th. So, click the link in the description and hurry up because spots are filling up quick. All 
All right, so we just finished the cut with our Z plus wire. So let's see what our time savings was just using a different wire. So our wire usage was 371 meters and our cut time was 39 minutes and one second. So you can see that using our Z plus wire, we actually cut 15% off of our cycle time and almost 60 meters of wire. Now you may think 15% isn't that much, but if your shop rate's $130 an hour and you're running 40 hour weeks, that's gonna save you over $50,000 over the course of a year. And if you're running two shifts, it's gonna save you over $100,000. And this is why it's important that we look at all the variables in our machining processes, because by changing something as simple as the type of wire, you could be saving over $100,000. So if wire EDM is the bottleneck in your shop and you need to save some time, you might consider giving Sodix Z Plus Wire a try. So I hope you guys liked today's video. Please like and subscribe. Come check us out at Boombastic. We're going to have some awesome demos here, and I'll see you guys again soon. Yes, Z Plus Wire!